the world I like. I am Mina. In my home, I like to sing songs, eat tasty food, hear stories from my grandmother, go out with my parents and play with my brother. In my neighborhood, I like to play with my friends, go to the market with my mother, play on the swing in the park, ride a bicycle in the playground. At school, I like to grow plants, dance, sing, draw and make things, learn along with my friends, be appreciated by my teacher for good work, play in the evening with my friends. What would you like to do? Lata, Jamal, John and Mary are studying in class 3. They come from different neighborhoods. Let us listen to what they are going to tell us. I am Lata. I live with my parents in Kirapakam village. We have a cow in our house. My name is Jamal. I live in Nagor with my grandparents, my parents, my aunt and uncle, my brother and two cousins. I am John. I live in an apartment in Tambaram with my aunt, uncle and my sister Mary. As you see, families are of different kinds. There are big families, small families and joint families. Do you live in a small family or a big family? Meena said, I love my family. My mother hugs me when I return home from school. She listens patiently when I tell her all about my day. I get angry when my brother argues with me. At such times, my grandfather consoles me. My family takes care of me in so many ways. I can share my thoughts with my family. When I am happy or sad or angry, I can talk to someone at home, said Jamal. Will you share about yourself? Here are some questions for you. Do you have a pet name at home? What is it? What language or languages do you speak at home? Whom do you speak to when you are sad? Whom do you speak to when you are scared? Whom do you go to when you have doubts in your lesson? Whom do you go to when you have made a mistake? This is the home of Sumati and Saran. They say, In our home we have the freedom to speak what we think and we always share the housework. There is a lot of love. Look how Sumati and Saran help at home. Think about how you can help others at your home. Fill in the blanks. Meena likes to hear stories from Grandmother. Lata lives with her parents in Kirapakam village. Jamal lives in Nagor. John and Mary live in an apartment.
apartment in Tambaram. My neighborhood. A neighborhood is an area where many families live together. In a neighborhood, there may be roads, railway lines, bus stops, markets, ration shops, places of worship, different kinds of plants, animals, insects and birds. Many people live in a neighborhood. You have met Lata, Jamal, John and Mary. Here they tell you about their neighborhood. Lata says, I live in a separate house in a village called Kirapakam. It has around 500 houses. There are many streets connecting these houses. I live in Anna Street. There are 25 houses on the street. We have one common tap from which we collect water and also one ration shop. We get our provisions from the ration shop. There is also a small shop where my mother buys me sweets. My father Nallathambi works in a hotel in Chennai and comes home during the weekends. I play pandi with my friends Kala and Vanati in the evenings. Their parents are farmers. We celebrate different festivals and share sweets. We go to school together. From where does the family get its provisions? What does Lata play with her friends? What do they all do together? Jamal says, I live with my grandparents, parents, brother, uncle, aunt and two cousins in Nagor. My house is near the seashore. My grandfather is a fisherman. There are many houses next to ours, maybe 30 houses in the same row. Most of the men here are fishermen. My father and my uncle also go to fish in the sea. I have a lot of fun in the evenings playing with my brother and cousins. John and Mary say, We live with our aunt and uncle in Tambaram, a suburb of Chennai. We live in a flat. There are 40 families living in our apartment complex. Our parents are working for a non-governmental organization, NGO, near Tirunalveli and visit us often. Tambaram is a very crowded neighborhood. All the children in the flats play together in the evenings. But we all go to different schools. Mary loves to visit the Vandalur Zoo that is close by because there are lush green plants and animals there. Me, my neighborhood. Some of us have lived in one place all our lives. Some others have moved to other places. My school. School is like a very big family because it teaches you about life. It is a place where you spend a lot of time building relationships with your classmates and teachers and learning many things.
It is also like a neighborhood because there are responsibilities to share. Our teacher teaches us to read and write. We also learn good manners and gain knowledge and skills. The school office staff keeps all the school records. The principal makes sure that the school runs smoothly. The noon meal worker cooks our noon meals. When required, there are people who take care of the plants, the maintenance and the safety of the school. All of them make it possible for us to learn at school. We should come to school on time. Keep our classroom neat and clean. Throw the waste in the dustbin. Always follow the cue. Ask questions one at a time in the classroom. What are the plants in our school every day? Keep your surroundings clean and tidy. Read the instructions on the boards at the zoological park. What will happen if you do not follow these instructions? If we spit on the road, we would spread disease. If we waste water, we must face water scarcity. If we don't stand in a queue, we may have quarrel with each other. If we tease animals, the animals may get hurt. If we don't use the dustbin, the surroundings would become polluted and untidy. If we don't keep our surroundings clean and tidy, we would find it difficult to find the things we have kept. Fill in the blanks. School is like a very big family because it teaches you about life. Lata's family get their provision from the ration shop. We should keep our surroundings clean and tidy. If we spit on the road, we spread disease. Jamal's house is near the seashore. On my way to school. Every day on our way to school, we cross many different kinds of trees and vehicles, hear the chirping of birds, along with a variety of other sounds, pass many known and unknown people, and see many diverse scenes and sights. Every day, through our experiences as we come to school, we learn many new things. Meena usually observes the streets, the buses, the market, etc. when she goes to school. Routes we travel by. We choose a definite direction to reach a place. This is how other creatures do it too. Here is a bird. How does it find its way to its nest? Are there any landmarks that help it find its way? Here are two monkeys. How do they move in the forest in search of food? Do the trees in the forest look like pathways for the monkeys? Fish move in groups in the sea, river, 
lake or pond are there paths in the water that they see and swim on how can you find the way from your home to school when people move from one place to another they use different roads there are single walker footpaths there are mud roads on which bullock carts move and tar roads connect bigger places like towns cities and villages national highways connect different states and cities in india we can remember any route by the different places we cross on our way there everybody in a village town or city has an address or a way by which they tell everyone exactly where they live this address is also called a postal address because it helps the postman to bring the letters to your home it is important to remember your postal address because it will help you to find your way back if you are lost a warning it is important to be safe at all times on our way to the school later on we will learn the road rules and how to follow them on your way to school do not speak to strangers and take the gifts or sweets they give it is fun to think in what other ways we can write our address you could say for instance that you live in a green colored house close to a huge neem tree or you might say that your neighbor's balcony has many fragrant rose plants or a bird's nest remember your home is a place that you can touch hear see and smell there is another easy way of telling your friend how to come to your house by using your right and left hand If you turn towards your right hand side then you say I am turning to my right If you turn towards your left hand side then you say I am turning to my left To make sure that you are giving the right directions to your home Here is another interesting game that you can play with your friend. It is called a mirror game. Stand facing each other. If you are A, then your friend is B. Imagine that your friend is a mirror image. Lift your right hand up. Which hand will your friend lift up? Touch your left ear. Which ear will your friend touch? You can now direct your friend by saying turn right, then turn left after the level crossing and walk straight. My flat is in the third building on the right. Like you Kalai also studies in class 3 and she walks to school every day with her friends Megala and Aisha Today it is raining Kalai is carrying an umbrella As she and her friends walk along the pond they hear the frogs croaking They see an egret. Kalai jumps like a frog. 
Megala tries to fly like an egret. I have seen this bird sitting on the cow's back, says Kalai. Now it is not raining, says Aisha. As the sun comes out, they see their shadows in front of them. They all run. As they run, they try to step on their shadows, but they cannot. Aisha says, I can step on your shadow, but I can't step on mine. Can you say why? As I move, my shadow also moves. After crossing the pond, there is a beautiful field and an INR statue on the way. They now cross an orchard. It is full of mango trees. I like to eat mangoes, says Kalai. A small dog joins them for a while. They now come to the tar road. They see a bus. Samir is in it. Along the road, they see a small shop. Near the shop, there is a zebra crossing. They carefully wait till the road is clear and then they cross the road. After that, they turn right into a small lane and they are in front of their school gate. As they enter, they hear their school bell ringing. Fill in the blanks. When people move from one place to another, they use different roads. National highways connect different states and cities in India. Postal address will help you find your way back if you are lost. On your way to school, do not speak to strangers. The postal address helps the postman to bring the letters to your home. Know your direction. Kavita and her friend Muller lived in opposite houses on the same road. They were studying in the same school in class 3. Both of them walked to school together every day and were good friends. They were learning about directions in their social science class. On the way to school that day, Kavita and Muller had a heated argument about whether they had to turn to the left or to the right to go to their school. We have to turn to the left. I know it, said Kavita. No, said Muller. We have to turn right. They kept arguing all the way to the school. In school, they waited eagerly for their teacher. The moment she entered the class, they ran to her and told her of their confusion. You both are correct, said the teacher, smiling. Can you guess why? In class, the teacher said, Let us play a small game. You play it too. The teacher asked the children to stand up. She asked, What do you see in front of you? I see the blackboard. Now turn to your left. What do you see? I see the window. Turn to your left. What do you see? I see the wall. 
turn to your left again. Now what do you see? I see the class entrance. Turn to your left again. You have made a full circle around yourself, said the teacher. When you get up in the morning, can you see where the sunlight comes from? That direction is the east. In the evening, look at where the sunlight comes from. That direction is the west. This helps us to find out in which direction we are moving. There are four main directions. They are north, east, south and west. The sun helps us to find the directions. Learn the cardinal directions. Stand facing the sun in the morning. We face east and behind us is west. Our right hand points towards the south and our left hand towards the north. These directions don't change wherever we go on earth. Remember this and you will never be lost, said the teacher smiling. Always check the time of day to be correct in telling the direction. Kavita now understood the four cardinal directions. We both turn north to come to school, said Kavita. If both Kavita and Malar are to turn to the north to come to school, Kavita had to turn left and Muller had to turn to the right. Can you say in which direction their houses face? Kavita's house faces west direction. Muller's house faces east direction. Directions tell us where specific places are located. From your home, walk towards the west and then towards the north, you will find the park. From your home, walk towards the north, you will reach the market. From your home, if you walk towards the east and then turn towards the south, you will find the nursery. If you go towards the south from your home, you will find the fancy store. To the west of the fancy store, you will find the school and the police station to the east of the fancy store. Mariner's Compass Directions are very important for sailors. This sense of direction guides the sailor to his destination even in fog or rain. Sailors use an instrument called a compass to find directions while sailing. The needle of the compass always points towards the north. Here is a story for you. To the north of Mayanur village, there is a small forest. To the east of that forest, there is a small pond. Different kinds of birds live near the pond with their young ones. There are crows, cranes, kingfishers, pelicans and many more. During summer, the pond dried up gradually. 
all the birds gathered together and had a discussion about what they could do. An old kingfisher said, There is a tank to the south of Mayanur. That tank never dries up. We can all go there. A crow said, Do not go there. It is crowded already. A crane said, I remember there is a beautiful river. With my friends, I will find out where it is and we can all go there. The crane and his friends flew to the west and saw the river from a distance. There were green fields and many trees. The birds came back and gave the happy news to all the other birds. They all flew to the riverside and spent the summer peacefully. Fill in the blanks. In the morning, the sunlight comes from the east. The sun helps us to find the directions. Stand facing the sun in the morning. We face east and behind us is west. Sailors use an instrument called compass to find directions while sailing. The needle of the compass always points towards the north. Are you safe on the road? It had rained in the morning. Many children came early to school. They were playing outside and drawing lines on the wet sand. Some children were playing pandi, hop and skip on the sand. Karthik was having fun. When he saw his teacher, he ran to her and said, Please look at these lines. Do these lines look like roads? Yes, said the teacher. The teacher asked them all to clean up and come inside the class. It must have been fun to make so many roads in the wet sand, said the teacher. Shall we talk about it? What kinds of roads did you make? Asked the teacher. All kinds of roads. Mud roads, tar roads, big roads, curved roads, straight roads, junctions, main roads and cross roads. We even ran around the Pandi track. Name the vehicles running on your roads, asked the teacher. Car, bus and auto. There was a traffic jam, said Viji. Also, Isaac and Raju banged into each other and fell down, said Sita. I was trying to cross, said Raju. I did not expect that he would stretch his hand suddenly. What happened to the people who were walking? asked the teacher. Well, they did not have any place at all to walk, said Kannan. Shall we speak about why all these things happened? asked the teacher. Nobody listens to anyone, said Reshma. Everyone follows their own rules, said Arul. This is happening every day on the roads too. Shall we create a few rules that will make sense to everybody? To be safe, you need to stop 
listen and only then start said the teacher let us form some simple rules for pedestrians said mumtaj here is mine walk on the footpaths they are meant for us but there are no pavements near my house said meena walk on the extreme side of the road if there are no pavements or platforms it will be safe for you replied mumtaj we should not rush run or play on the road said raju do not read books or look at hoardings while walking on the road said the teacher with a smile when i go by bicycle to school with my brother he waves his hands to greet his friends on the road said natasha it is distracting and unsafe for both of you said the teacher never walk along railway tracks and bridges be careful when you cross a railway track we can also get the help of older people while crossing the railway track you can use the overbridge or subway if they are available said the teacher so many rules said kevin how will we remember now i know what is right but sometimes i forget said kevin the next day the teacher decided to invite mr arun from the traffic department to teach the children the traffic rules he was very happy to talk to the children he showed them a picture of prescribed road safety rules and explained these rules to the children traffic signs and road markings the most common sign is the traffic signal everywhere there are signs to help us to be safe you just have to look and follow traffic signals regulate the traffic red stop yellow get ready green go traffic signs guide the pedestrians stop red go green road markings are painted on the road and they are also useful to guide and regulate the traffic follow the traffic signs and signals for your safety always try to cross the road at zebra crossings subways and foot bridges are provided on wide roads we must use subways and foot bridges wherever they are provided when you are at a pedestrian crossing you must wait for the green signal and also wait until the vehicles come to a complete halt before crossing wherever there is no zebra crossing you should wait look right left and again right and then cross the road carefully before you cross the middle of the road look again to your left to make sure that no vehicle is coming we should not run while crossing a road Here are a few signs to follow. Guarded rail crossing. Unguarded rail crossing. School zone. 
speed breaker dangerous dip left turn right turn bus stop no horn fill in the blanks traffic signals regulate the traffic traffic signs guide the pedestrians always try to cross the road at zebra crossings name the signs unguarded rail crossing school zone bus stop no horn speed breaker let us travel sembian was worried his father had not come back after collecting firewood for the week he lived in a small village his father had a frame of sticks to carry the firewood he usually came back in a day or two pulling a frame heavily loaded with firewood sembian was waiting anxiously for his father he knew his father was a careful man he always took the safe path used by many others sometimes his father came back with a story for sembian he spoke about strange or beautiful or savage animals found in the forest sembian longed to go with his father but he was too young soon sembian heard a rumbling noise in the beginning he was scared and he thought of running to his mother but suddenly he saw his father pulling something behind him it moved this time his father made very little effort to pull the frame Sembian was excited. He ran to his father and asked him, "Father, what is that round thing that moves the frame?" "I just made it. I had the idea when I was cutting a slice of the tree trunk," said his father proudly. "What do you think?" asked his father. "I think it looks super." said sembian he was admiring his father really he thought that there was nobody in the world like his father sembian lived thousands of years ago invention of wheel made travel easy Today we have many kinds of vehicles using different kinds of wheels and we use these vehicles to travel anywhere on the earth. The invention of the wheel gave way for modern means of transport. We also use vehicles for transportation of goods. We like to travel to different places. We need different means of transport to reach different places depending on the distance that we need to cover and the time at our disposal. We have four types of routes. Road route, rail route, sea route, and air route road transport roads link many places all over the world vehicles are the means of transport used on the road 
we use cars buses vans jeeps motorbikes bicycles and bullock carts to move from one place to another trucks tractors and lorries are used to transport goods railways trains run on rails train travel is more comfortable for long distances than traveling by road we can look out and enjoy the scenery while we travel by train india has a large network of railway lines in chennai we have the metro rail service water transport there are passenger ships and cargo ships we can see them in the sea and in big rivers we use boats for ferry services to travel short distance fishing boats and catamarans are used for fishing in the sea lakes and rivers air transport the fastest means of transport is the aeroplane we can cover long distances in a very short period of time using air transport the helicopter is an aircraft without wings but it has large blades on the top that go round and propel it forward do you know when there is flood or drought or when someone needs to be rescued the helicopter is the vehicle that is used make travel eco friendly vehicles used in hilly regions are winch train cable car ropeway the vehicles used for emergency are police car fire engine ambulance the vehicles used for essential purposes book line it is used for leveling ground and for digging the earth tractor it is used to plow the field and do other field works lorry it is used to carry goods from one place to another road roller it is used in construction of roads etc during your holidays have you traveled to visit your relatives or gone on a tour what vehicles did you use share your experiences meena was so excited meena why are you so excited today asked the teacher my uncle shekha is coming back he has gone on a tour to visit places in india he has taken many photographs said meena can you bring him to school tomorrow he can talk to all of us said the teacher the next day meena's uncle shekha came to school and spoke about his tour of india i started my journey from dhanushkodi i traveled by jeep to periyapattinam i saw many small fishing villages and palm trees i enjoyed traveling on the pamban bridge from rameshwaram as i came by train to chennai the capital city of tamil nadu across the sea i went with my friend on a motorcycle to mamallapuram from chennai and saw many beautiful sculptures 
After returning to Chennai, I travelled by a tourist bus to Orissa and visited the Sun Temple at Konark. This temple to the Sun God is both scientific and artistic in its construction. I flew by aeroplane from Orissa to Dispur, the capital of Assam. I visited the Gaziranga National Park near Gauhati, which is famous for the one-horned rhinoceros. Well, after that, I flew by helicopter to Shillong. It is the capital of Meghalaya. There I saw very beautiful waterfalls called the Elephant Falls. From there I went to Srinagar, the capital of Kashmir and took a ride in a shikara in the Dal Lake. I visited a few lovely flower gardens too. From there I went by bus to Jaisalmer in Rajasthan and had a ride on the camel to the Kuri sand dunes to watch the sunset. I then went to Mumbai, the capital of Maharashtra and visited the Elephanta cave by boat. From Mumbai, I travelled by a car along the west coast to Kerala with a friend and reached Coimbatore through the Palakkad Pass. Then I came to your school by an auto, said Shekhar uncle with a smile. Fill in the blanks. Invention of the wheel made travel easy. Fishing boats and catamarans are used for fishing in the sea, lakes and rivers. Vehicles used in hilly regions are the winch train and the cable car. The police car, fire engine and ambulance are vehicles used for emergency. The fastest means of transport is the aeroplane. Pamban Bridge is in Rameshwaram. Story of Food Food is one of the basic needs of all living beings. Human beings cultivate the earth and make a variety of interesting and tasty foods. Look at this picture. You can see the expression on the man's face to what he has tasted. Hot, sweet, sour, bitter. Show the changes in your face if you were to taste these things. Chili is hot in taste. Salt is sour in taste. Bitter gourd is bitter in taste. Laddu is sweet in taste. The story of cultivation. Early human beings were first hunters and food gatherers. Later, they closely observed nature and understood that plants grow out of seeds. Then they collected seeds and sowed them. To water them regularly, they started to live on the banks of rivers and raised crops. Thus started the art of cultivation. Much of the food we eat in Tamil Nadu is prepared out of rice. There are many traditional varieties of rice in India.